If you've caught wind of what's been going on in the Discord developer community lately, you might have heard that Discord.py has made a return. On August 28th of 2021, Discord.py officially closed as Discord was pushing slash commands upon users and the creator of Discord.py, Danny, didn't like it that and he felt like that was wrongful, so he actually ended the creation of Discord.py or the development of it, and it hasn't received any updates for around six months. But just yesterday, or not yesterday, uh, I guess yesterday at the time of the recording, Discord.py finally made a return. Now, people were anticipating this for a while now, and other people had just moved on. But the reason that it actually made a return is because Discord, a couple weeks back, made an announcement that their API version 6 and 7 would become depreciated. And Discord.py version 1.7.3, the latest stable version of it, has actually been running on v7, which would soon be depreciated. Now, if that did happen, then hundreds and thousands of bots would go on offline because there are still bots that run off of it. And those who divided up into forks would be fine, although others that didn't and are still sticking with Discord.py won't. And so this kind of forced him to make a return. And this has kind of shaken the Python developer community, at least for Discord bots, quite a bit. Many like just forks have lost hundreds of members because now they're just fleeing back to Discord.py. And this video isn't to tell you, hey, come back to Discord.py or stay whichever fork you've chosen. It's more of giving you options on what you can do based on just what happened. And also, I guess, just describing what actually went down just for if you don't understand it. There will be two GitHub gifts in the description below where Jan Danny actually announced that he will be um, discontinuing the development and recontinuing it. He has updated multiple features such as he has finished the selects and um, slash commands, buttons, and he's also included models and all of that. There have been big changes and some people are happy about it while others are not. I personally, for the rest of my videos, I will be using discord.py, but for my personal bots, I will be still with Nextcore because I feel like I've already migrated and migrating back would be too much of work and I'll just have to rewrite hundreds if not thousands of lines of code, which would be just a lot of unnecessary work. For those of you that still want to stick with the fork or such as Nextcore, I will be making it very clear in the video and in the title that this will work with the Nextcore as well and most of them will because right now they are still very similar. When Nextcore version 3 comes out, I might change my decision as according to Epic, the creator or the main maintainer of it, it's supposed to be a lot faster and I've even seen videos of it like being insanely quick, which is really cool to see and I guess that would be really nice. Now, if you're wondering whether you should move back or not, I have a, I've kind of set up a scale on screen that you could see that might help you. So if you haven't moved to a fork yet and or you're still on Discord.py, then I just suggest you to stay there. Well, now it's getting updates and it has the newest features. So I don't see like the problem in just moving. It will be fine and you don't have to do any extra work. Although if you've just started to move to a fork, then you might want to consider going back to discord.py. Now, this is the hardest decision to make because it's kind of like it would be equally as hard to move back to both. It's not going to be that hard as if you've just started to make this transition, you could easily go back, just do a couple of find and replace, and it also won't be that hard to fully complete the transition. So you could also do that. That's what I would say is the hardest. And now level three, would be you fully moved to a fork and you've adapted to its features and you've gotten used to it. Now, if this is you, then I strongly suggest you to just stay with the fork because now the forks have mainly caught up. So for example, my fork that I support, which is Nextcore, now has slash commands, context menus, and all the new features. And so do most other forks like Disnake, PyCord, and Enhanced DPY. And so, this, I feel like it would be way too tedious to move back to discord.py and as they still have the same feature set, I don't see, it's it's just not logical to do it. But if you want to, I guess you can. 
and there are a couple of differences between the forks you can see here here's just uh, on screen right now the next chord and discord.py comparison of slash commands they're a bit different uh, like discord.py mainly relies on decorators for i guess just describing the slash command such as for its description and its options and all of that whilst next chord mainly relies on the function itself and the arguments within it but yeah i hope this video helped and i guess yeah that's just what's been going on this has been a big i guess just shake it's not many people and a couple of people are also confused on what to do i hope this video cleared a couple of things up for you and if you're still confused you can always join on my discord server there are multiple people that can help clear things up further for you and yeah anyways that's gonna be it for today's video thanks for watching and see you later